guys welcome back so starting off with this hair part of my tutorial i'm combing all of my hair up and please you guys don't mind my, my appearance i know i look a little busted but please let me make it and then i'll come for me in my comments so i'm just taking my african styling gel i'm just gonna be putting that all over my hair just to start molding my hair in place And I'm just taking my big brush and I'm just going to be brushing all that product in my hair and I'm just brushing my hair up as well just to start forming that ponytail. And now I'm taking my Got To Be Styling Gel and I'm putting it all over my hair as well to further mold it. And I'm going to take my brush again and I'm just going to brush that product into my hair. Now taking my big scrunchie, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hair in a big in a nice ponytail. And once I'm done doing that, I'm just gonna take the remaining of my hair and I'm just gonna wrap it into a tight bun because when you're doing these drawstring um, looks, you want to put your hair in a tight small bun so that the ponytail is covering your hair. Now I'm taking one of my baby hair combs that I have. This one is dual ended that I'm using. One side has combs and the other side has a brush. And I'm just using that comb part to just comb out my baby hairs. But I'm just kind of combing them in place at the same time. And now I'm going to be taking my styling gel. And I'm just going to be using that to mold down my baby hairs so my baby hairs can be snatched. And I'm just taking my other baby hair brush and I'm using that to brush the product through my baby hairs making sure that my baby hairs are laying down the way I want them to lay my baby hairs are thin so I like my baby hairs to lay down a certain way and I just keep combing it through and brushing it through just to make sure that my baby hairs are laying down the way I want them to lay Now I'm moving down to my sideburns. My sideburns are really thick and they're really curly and they're long. So I like to use this styling gel on my, on my sideburns just so my sideburns are staying in place and they're not going nowhere. 
and I like to swoop my I like to swoop my sideburns just to give it that extra look and now I'm taking my free trust ponytail and I'm going to be using this for my look today and I'm putting it high I'm doing this genie look which is like a side high ponytail look it's been going around a lot on YouTube and Instagram and I, I just you know, I really like the look so I wanted to go for it so that's what I'm doing and I'm placing the combs into place, just putting the, like the combs into my bun. And I'm just going to take the string that comes with the drawstring. And I'm just going to pull it to make my ponytail secure and tight. And I'm just going to wrap it around that ponytail. So wrap it around the ponytail to secure it and use a bobby pin to secure it down. Now I'm just taking regular braiding hair. You can use any type of braiding hair. And I'm just gonna wrap this around the ponytail to give the ponytail a natural look. And so you can't see like the, the seams of the ponytail. And I'm just securing that braiding hair down with bobby pins. And you just wanna keep wrapping and wrapping until you get to the end of it. And you wanna secure the end of it with another bobby pin. And you can put some more bobby pins around it as well to secure it down as well. And now I'm just combing through the hair so that the hair is not tangled. Now I'm just going to spray some of this olive oil spray on my hair to give it that shine. And I'm going to be tying my hair down with my little hair wrap. And I'm going to move on to the makeup part of this tutorial. I do like to do my hair first. So like I said, we're just about to move on to this makeup part. So to prime my eyes, I'm using my Ella Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. And I'm going to be laying it out with this small Real Technique sponge. And I'm going to be setting this with my Sasha Buttercup powder. First palette I'm using is my Nubian One palette. And I'm taking this gold shade and I'm using that as my brow bone highlight. Going into the Nubian 2, I'm taking this orange shade called Morocco and I'm using that as my transition shade. I literally used like three shades for this look because I didn't want this look to be too complicated. I just wanted something that was cute and simple. Sometimes less is more. Going into my 3502 palette, I'm taking this shade called Heat and I'm going to be putting that all over my crease. It's pretty sloppy. You don't have to be neat with it because it's just like, like I said, it's just a simple look. Taking that concealer again, I'm just using that to kind of, you know, clean up my lids so my shadow that I'm going to use can have something to stick to. And so the shadow can be more pigmented as well. And the shade I'm going to be using is a blaze from the 3502 palette. Just going to be packing that all over my lid. Going back into heat, I'm just using that to further blend out this eye look and, you know, blend out that line so it can just look like a, you know, like a mono look. And I'm just taking this blush, this other brush, I'm sorry, to blend that out. I went ahead and did my liner off camera and my lashes. The liner that I used was the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. And now I'm taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer and I'm going to be using that to prime my face with. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, and for this extra glow that I'm going for, I'm using this NYX Liquid um, Glow, and I'll mix it into my foundation. I forgot to shade up this um, glow that I'm using from NYX, but I will make sure to include it in the description box below.
Now I'm taking my Ella Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fine, and I'm using that to highlight my face. And I'm highlighting underneath my eyes, down my nose, lit on my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And I'm just going to blend that out with my Real Technique sponge. You guys see that liner? That liner is sharp and precise. I'm really feeling this liner. If you guys want to like a how like a tutorial on how I do my liner, please let me know and I will make sure to get that to you. To you guys. So I'm taking my Ella Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Mahogany and I'm using that to contour my face. I will be contouring my cheeks and around my forehead. So I went ahead and set the rest of my face off camera. I'm taking that same gold shade that I used from the Nubian One palette and I'm using that in my inner tear duct. Taking my e.l.f. gel liner in the shade Midnight and I'm using that in my waterline. Taking my L'Oreal Plus Compact Mascara and my my Maybelline Great Lash, I will be using that to coat my lashes. You guys, I literally have to be like in the mirror to do my bottom lashes. I don't know if you guys do that, but I also I have literally have to be in the mirror for me to do my bottom lashes. Taking my MAC blush in the shade called Ambering Rose. It's like a pretty shimmer, like shimmer blush. And I'm using that as my blush today. I'm just placing it on, on, the, apples, on the apples of my cheek. And I'm just going to be spraying my face with my next dewy setting spray because I'm going for this extra dewy slash glowy look. And for my highlight, I'm taking the shade called Bronze from the ABH, ABH Sun Dipped Palette Anastasia. And because I'm extra and I want this extra glowy look, I'm taking my Artist Couture highlighter in the shade Conceited, and I'm just going to be I'm, I'm just going to be going over my cheeks with that. And I'm just spraying my face again with my setting spray. And now I'm taking my NYX dark brown pencil. I'm going to be lining my lips with that. And for my lip combo today, I will be using my Anastasia lips, matte lip stain in the shade Naked. And for my gloss, I will be taking the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Fortune Cookie. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really had so much fun creating this video for you guys. It was something different with the hair tutorial, with the makeup look. I really hope you guys like really like this video because like I said, I had so much fun doing it. Everything I use will be listed down in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you guys can know when I'm uploading. And until then, I will see you guys in my next one. I'm
fucking trophy Tell a girl say Girl you know say you're pretty from your band Walk out girl you not try on Them girls they're not pretty in 